hello! You have no idea how excited I am to start this video. Uh, mainly because I've been waiting for two hours, two hours to get food. And I am hungry, I am hangry, I am angry, I am not okay. Today we are back with another mukbang, a mukbang. But this time it is in my Sydney apartment. My first mukbang in Sydney. Okay, so for today's mukbang, it is a Mexican mukbang. I got it from a place called Guzman's. I'm ready to eat. It's a white top. I'm gonna spill shit on it. Can't wait. Oh shit, I'm scared. We got this, we got this. I spent 50 bucks, by the way, on Mexican food, so it better be good. Alrighty, let's get into the mukbang because Ten is hungry. All right, first up we've got mini enchilada, but that looks like just a burrito. Ooh. Ooh. Then we've got nacho fries, and then we've got a mini naked burrito. Wow, this all looks like slop, but I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. And then we got some churros with some chocolate sauce, caramel sauce. And then we've got a chili mayo, because chili? I don't know what it is, but it'll do. Oh, <laughs> cool. I got greedy. I got greedy. I'll be back. I'll be back. So pretty much, I don't know how to approach this. Usually, the vibe I've been going for with me mukbangs is to react to Instagram comments. So I'm gonna do that. Got a few things I want to talk about. A few things I want to, you know, bitch about. I'm spilling shit everywhere. All right, so talking about food, moving to Sydney, like there's so many more places to eat, obviously, and there's so many more foods that you can get delivered. This is the second time I've gotten delivery on my own. The first time I got a big hefty kebab, which was beautiful, but it also took an hour. Delivery, sort your shit out. Lana and I get burgers. Sometimes we get healthy food. Sometimes we get this. You have no idea the amount of Deliveroo and Uber Eats bags that are in my house because that's all that Lennon eats. Unfortunately, I cannot afford that. So I've got to actually cook foods like steak and veggie and you know, more steak and veggie. But they also sell chicken nuggets for $4.50 at the local Woolworths. They just always got chicken nuggets there. We just appreciate that for a minute. Now, I didn't think I would feel, sorry. I got a balance between eating and talking. All right, shout out to the Naked Burrito for just not being normal. I didn't think I would feel so at home in Sydney. Like it's definitely well suited to like our lifestyle as YouTubers. I'm sure you can hear the siren, which you hear constantly. Mmm. Oh my God, it all tastes so good. I don't know what this is, but I don't mind it. I'm literally a disgusting pig. It's just like everything's so convenient. Like my gym is literally around the corner. We've got a Woolies really close. We've got a coffee shop pretty much on every corner. There's about 40,000 pubs. There's so many places to eat, so many places to drink. We've been here for about, I think, what, like three weeks now? Well, I have, uh, yeah, I think like three weeks. And we're starting to settle in. Lennon's in America at the moment, so you'll be able to tell when this video kind of goes up. Might get Gage to like push it to the front. We'll see, we'll see. I want to get into this. This looks fucking... This is just like a burrito. I thought it was like an enchilada. Isn't enchiladas like much smaller? I honestly don't know. I'm confused. How many days is this gonna feed me for? Food, my dude. You right, brother? Sometimes it's just me eating, all right? Sometimes you just gotta put up with me eating. The other day, I literally got alcohol delivered to me. You can get alcohol delivered to you in Sydney. I want to stay here forever. There's just so many places to go out here and I'm like, I want to go out, I want to drink, I want to do this, I want to do that. It's like, no, Tenor, no. You've got to stay in, you've got to focus on YouTube. Which I'm trying to do, I promise, I am. This is a shit fight. I'm thinking of doing mukbangs more regularly just because I got a wide variety of food. Like on the Central Coast, all I had was like McDonald's and KFC. But here you've literally got absolutely any cuisine you can think of. So. Uh, there's the first burp. Any cuisines you want to uh, see me do a mukbang on, let it, let a girl know and I'll do it. How's I've literally like noticed I've been gaining weight too. So I've like been going to the gym every day here. So I'm like, yeah, I want to just like lose a few kilos, lose a few kilos. And then I ordered this. So it's really hard to be uh, healthy, but it's also really easy to be healthy in Sydney. You just got to like be smart and pick the right ways. Am I doing that so far? No, I'm not. I'm really when it comes to my channel, I've been smashing out videos. I've done three yesterday, one the day before, one today. I'm gonna do another one after this, hopefully. Mm. The loaded fries. 
There's just a whole lot of the same ingredients, but I just wanted to get one of everything and I like making it look like I'm eating heaps of food. All right, on to the next thing of reading my Instagram comments. I'm gonna get my phone up in a minute, but today's date, the 12th of October. So, day is better edit this quick. But today I put up a photo of me and my friends at Listen Out and I'm wearing like a little black slip dress. You can literally go onto my Instagram for reference because it's not, I'm not deleting it. But like my dress kind of was like here and like fell under my boob where I had like a full black bralette. So I was wearing a black bralette with like a little bit of cleavage, but the dress was coming down here and my hair went over the top because I had like bright colored hair and it's made it look like my boobs out, which Fair's fair, my boob does look out, and I'm not gonna deny that in the slightest. But if you keep swiping through, because I put up a few photos, you can see that kind of like my one half of my boob, or like the bralette black bit, was kind of like, the dress was cutting down a little bit. And the amount of comments I got literally saying, do you realize your nipples out? Do you realize your tits out? Do you realize this? Do you realize that? And I'm like, bro, I looked at the photo when I put it up. I saw how it looks. And I just thought, because I, I, I thought people would understand that obviously my boobs not out or they would swipe right. Or even if my tit was out, there's no nipple there. Like, do you know what a boob looks like? And then also if my boobs just slightly covered, have you seen the bikinis I wear? Have you seen the other things that I post? That's what I didn't understand. I was like, dude, I literally post in bikinis. You're worried about my hair covering my nipple, which wasn't even there, but like people were saying my nipple was out. <laughs> so obviously I went to Instagram and Twitter and had a little bit of a rant just because I usually don't get phased by what people say. Like I'm pretty easy going when it comes to shit like that. I brush it off, but I was just like the amount of comments. And also I'm not a conservative person. Like you should, you've seen what I post on Instagram. Sorry, I'm getting angry, I'm getting heated. I can't help it, it just triggered me. I literally got triggered and I don't get triggered. I mean, I do get triggered, but like I got extra triggered. Okay, look, I've almost demolished this one. I'm gonna like move on, I feel bad. So low key feel bad for the other ones. I don't know about that one. It's fucking pissing me off because I thought it was like something different. I thought it was something different. But let's, uh, I think that one's, I think these are beef and this one must be pork, but. Meant to be slow cooked, but honestly, it's just looking a little bit how you're going at the moment. Oh my God. Would you guys actually like to see like a full ASMR video? Is that something that you would like? All right, we got, why does it look like her tit is hanging out in the second photo? Move your hair so I can see your boob on the second picture. Anyone notice that her tit's out in the second photo and she's just covering it up with her hair? Is your hair covering your boob? Why does your boob look like it's out in the first picture? Dude, your left nip is out in the second picture. Tit in the second photo. This really is Pornhub. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I'm triggered. I'm really triggered. So don't at me. Don't at me. This is not worth 50 bucks. I'm just gonna put that out there. There's shit. They're low key shit. It's like the filth that you're gonna hate yourself after. It's like KFC. Does everyone wanna see the photo of me with my tit out? Ready? <gasps> so we're on a photo where I hit, where I'm in a bikini, not with my tit out, but pretty much where's the nipple? I'm just gonna show you on the screen. I said, thank you for 100,000 on Instagram. It still feels pretty surreal. And somebody goes, the more I look at it, the more I just see laser beam in a bra. So if people like that when they look at me, they look at me and they go, yeah, you look like a chick, but uh, I just see London's face. Like in your opinion, how alike do you think that we look? And then somebody just put the entire lyrics to Country Roads by John Denver. And I don't hate that. I honestly love that. If you're going to wear such little clothing and spread your legs like that, may as well post nudes for all the 12 year olds to fat to. What, cause I wanna wear, cause I wanna sit with my legs crossed wearing a bikini. You could tell that I'm triggered by the internet today. Maybe this wasn't a good idea to read Instagram comments when I've already been triggered by Instagram comments today. That looks hella photoshopped. Yeah, well, <laughs> if it was photoshopped, I would have made myself a lot skinnier. Don't get me wrong, I do a little bit of filters, a little bit of face tune, just like smoothing the skin a little bit, but like, I don't enhance in the sense of like, making my ass really big or making my waist really small. I just kind of keep it chill, like, I notice it and if I want to change it, that's my choice. Look, tennis triggered by the internet, she's getting angry, she's getting angry. That is your opinion and I respect it. Okay, and another thing that just happened in my life was that beautiful Willie, who was asleep right next to me because he's not allowed near the food, just turned one year old. And if you have me on Instagram, you have Willie on Instagram, you notice that that dog is my life. Like I literally love him so much, so, so much. He just turned one on Monday, Tuesday, Monday, I don't know. 
He's one year old though, which is pretty darn cool. So shameless plug for Willie's Instagram. He just hit 50,000 followers, which I think is hilarious for a dog to hit 50,000 followers. Like, oh my God, that's so funny. You'll see the stupid, stupid outfit I put him in. And he was so angry. I put him, it's like this Kmart hat that says happy birthday and like a thing that says happy birthday, like a onesie. And he literally just stood there like this. He was just like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I was like, sorry champ, got to do what you got to do. It's your birthday and we got to get an Instagram picture. I want to go back to this one. I... Fuck that one. I'm angry at that one. I might save it for a drunk feed just in case I go out or something though. This one though, if you're getting Mexican, get loaded fries. It's delicious. But yeah, Halloween's coming up. I'm trying to figure out what I want to go as. I'm thinking I really wanted to like cosplay a Fortnite character, but they're really extravagant and I just am poor as fuck. I always wonder why I'm single. And then I film a mukbang and I realize. <laughs> I asked Instagram for suggestions on what to go as because I was told by somebody that I was not allowed to go as a moth or a lamp, which I think is so rude because it's a great meme. And anyone who says it's not a good meme can honestly go and fuck themselves. But yeah, my, my wonderful editor did say, who told you these lies? Because I should be able to go as a moth or a lamp if I want to. It's 2018, how dare you? Uh, Mullen said, just go as yourself. Ha ha ha. Get it? Cause I'm a Halloween costume. Cause I'm a joke. Laser beam, go as laser beam. He's scary enough. Can I go as my brother to Halloween? Is that like a thing? Would people be like, what are you doing, man? Honestly, dress up as a lamp and dress Willy up as a moth and have him follow me. Oh my God, that's cute. I really, really like that idea. You should dress up as a stripper. Okay. Hi. Okay. Be a mouse. Cause Lennon hates mice. Yeah, um, if you didn't know this fun fact about laser beam, he's terrified of rodents. <laughs> My brothers and I literally used to put on like a rat videos because we thought it was funny. I demolished that. So people who say I can't eat, I can eat them. Maybe I want to take the meat out of this one. But I'm sick of people saying that I'm not good at eating because I've done well. I feel like I've definitely done well. So I posted a bikini picture and spoke about the real laser beam sister. Now I don't even know in the last mukbang if this page was even a thing. See, that's another thing I gotta talk about when it comes to recording and making videos constantly. I have the memory of a goldfish. If I say something and I repeat myself, I literally don't remember. Like I'm just looking at the real laser beam sister's Instagram and I literally don't even know if I spoke about it in my last mukbang. But Shameless plug for that. The real laser beam sister is kind of what I'm like unfiltered, some would say. And that's why I hate when people are like, oh my God, look at how fake you are like in some of the comments. And I'm like, literally look at the real laser beam sister. I am not afraid to hide who I am, trust me. Fun fact about me, I hate the sound of metal scraping together. Like, that gave me anxiety. When it comes to rating what I just ate, I would probably give it a three out of 10, just because it was absolute slop. When this, video has been filmed. I think the uh, Shane Dawson, Jake Paul series is up to part six. I just watched it this morning. That's like a very talked about thing at the moment. Maybe I should talk about that. Maybe that'll give me something to talk about. So my opinions, which people probably don't give a shit about. I mean, I love Shane Dawson. I've watched all his documentary parts. They are all hilarious. Love his one on Trisha Paytas. His Jeffree Star one, I love Jeffree, so totally into it. And when he said he was gonna do Jake Paul, yeah, so I think what he did with the Suicide Forest thing was just like totally messed up. And especially somebody who knows what it's like to live with a mental illness, it's like, I watched it happen. I was like, how is this a thing? And especially when you live with a YouTuber who suffered so much from demonetization and struggling through that, through the adipocalypse and all that kind of stuff. And then for Logan to have a picture of a dead body in a thumbnail with the title, we found a dead body and it be on trending. But yeah, Jake, I think he did dumb shit. Like I never really was like, oh yeah, he's a sociopath. Like I didn't look at him and go, you're a psycho. Like he's just, I feel like he was young and dumb as well. And we just kind of have that bro mentality of like, what can we do next to make everyone feel like they're in a clique and a crew and team 10, whatever. But I think the way that Shane is approaching it is genuinely good. Like everyone's like, oh, it shouldn't be eight parts. It's like, yeah, but if you squish it into two or three, then everyone would be complaining. It's like, he makes money off this and this is his life. And if he wants to make it an eight part series, wants to make it a 10 part series, he's still giving us 40 minutes of content. Like. He's still giving us a season's worth of shows. You know what I mean? Some television shows have five episodes. 
Like, why can't his be the same? Just because he's a YouTuber? Like, I don't understand everyone's kind of like, oh, he probably took too long. And I was reading on Twitter saying how he was delaying it because he was unwell. And everyone was kicking up a stink. They're like, no, he shouldn't be delaying it. You set a time, that's when it should be up. It's like, him and his cameraman are the only ones editing it. Like, and he's got health issues. He got other things that are kind of like coming up and popping up while he's doing the documentary. Obviously, he's going to want to change things and all that kind of stuff. He's a YouTuber. If he wants to push it back, he can push it back. I don't understand what everyone's so upset about. He's going out of his way to make this series for us and people are going to sit there and complain that he literally is pushing it back a day or two so because he, he wants to make sure it's perfect for everyone like so many people a small might look Ted is triggered today Ted is triggered one they don't understand what it's like to be a youtuber and i'm only a small small time youtuber who has an editor love you gage but they don't understand it takes time and effort and everything like that. You don't just throw it together. Things are all a process. It's all a journey. It's not kind of like what they say about Len. It's like, oh, you're going to sit there and complain because you play video games for 10 minutes a day. And I know I've spoken about this before, but like you don't understand what happens in this household. People who aren't YouTubers don't really understand what happens behind closed doors. I'm even struggling with it myself just to kind of keep on top of like constant videos, getting ideas, like figuring out when to film. My brain procrastinates. Like I will literally sit here in front of the computer knowing I have to film. Oh my God. Oh my God. You can tell I'm gonna gain weight from this because it tastes so damn good. But yeah. Shane Dawson series. I like it. I think the kid's misunderstood. Like, you don't know what's happened in his childhood, in his life, and like, what happens behind YouTube. Like, he might be a dick and he might do some shitty things, but I feel like deep down he's like a, a nice dude. So, Logan had sex with his ex-girlfriend, and I'm keen to hear more about that. We'll speak about this in the next mukbang, because apparently I'm doing heaps of them now. I went out to dinner with my friend, um, Ange and Ben last night, and she put up a video of me, and once somebody was like, oh, I know this girl from her mukbangs. <laughs> and I was like, what? And then she just got another one and goes, Somebody goes, what the fuck? How do you know Tenor? And she goes, uh, I'm friends with her. And they go, oh yeah, I know her brother. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> she goes, I'm hanging out with cool kids. Yes, she are. Yes, she are. Yes, she is. <laughs> I can't even speak properly. Yes, she are. So I had some girls contact me and ask me some questions about what it's like to do mukbangs and why I do them and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if this is the exact reason, but this is the way I look at it is that I'm sitting here and having a meal and you as a viewer can sit there and have a meal with me, if that makes sense. Like me personally, if I'm eating and somebody's put up a mukbang, I'll watch it because you're like sitting with somebody, they're talking about their lives and talking shit, but you just like feel like you're not sitting by yourself. Am I the only person that feels that way? And this is a thought that I had yesterday, which I did tweet about. I have an editor, Gage, hello. So I always think I'm filming for a long time and like I kind of lose track because I'm in the middle of things. I'm like, am I picking my nose? Am I, Gage, do I pick my nose? Do I do weird shit? I don't know. Do I cry? Do I look dead inside? God, I'm a weird person. I wonder what he's seen me do that I just haven't picked up on because I'm just so in the moment that I just don't think about what I'm doing. And then later on, he's like, wow, look at this weird bitch that I have to edit for. Yeah, well, I think this is where I'm going to finish up this mukbang. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what cuisine cuisine you guys want to see next thank you for a hundred thousand followers i'm so excited i'm getting a silver play button so if you guys like mukbangs and you like this kind of content make sure to give it a thumbs up so i know that you guys love it subscribe to my channel if you're not i'm just gonna say that you should be and do it please 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 and i will see you all next time when i want to make myself fat again <laughs>